Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com Okay, starting tomato number four. And now we need to think about how to route to the result. So we need to think, what is a result? So for me, the result can be a combination of the question and the answer. Well, we should accumulate. Yes, yeah, accumulated. Yeah. The answers. I mean, yes. Yeah, right. Yes. And pass the answers there. Something like route to result in a result type. Some sort of a type, yeah. Yeah, so do we need to create a data structure? Or should we use a foundation one? Yeah, a dictionary, you mean? Yes. What are the limitations of the dictionary? We cannot have duplicated questions. Yes. If we use the question as the key, we need to force the questions to be hashable. Right. So we guarantee this uniqueness. Order. We don't have order. We lose the order, yes. Right. These are things that we don't know yet, right? If we need those. I think it, actually that's the desired behavior. Why would you have duplicated questions in a quiz? My main concern is the order. <laughs> Well, the order is not the flow responsibility, right? It's not, right? Yeah. Actually, the result doesn't need order. The questions has an order. And the result is just a data structure where we accumulate the answers. We can just ask this data structure, what is the answer for this question? Mm -hmm. It doesn't require order there. It's just a key value pair. Yeah. Let's go with this and we change if we don't I'm, like it. I'm pro. Yeah. So, so far, since we're using strings, I would say string. So string. String. Yeah. Now, it's very clear that we need to fix this string type because one of the number one complaints when people say, well, don't use raw types. Even if you need a string, sometimes you should encapsulate this string in a struct, like a question, struct, that holds a string, just so we give more meaning to it. Right. I also find it confusing when I'm reading code to see string string. What is the meaning? Like, it's quite hard to read. But all of these, I think, is going to be solved later. I don't think we need this concern right now. Since we're doing TDD, we just keep going, writing our tests and checking our outputs. And Yes, I agree. Okay, so that's our goal for this tomato. Get this route to result. And you're going to drive. Okay. So I think if you have no questions and you start, I think we should route, route to the result mm -hmm. with an empty result. Yep. Okay. Duplicate this. Yes. For now. Yeah. Now questions. Routes oh. to result. And the expected result. Route to result could be. It's empty. But it's accurate. Yes. And we need this dictionary here. It's empty. So it's route to result. Whoops. Well, this is introduced. We should have deleted that. I prefer to write the protocol first instead of this pie. I see this pie as a helper. I don't like to write production like expectations in there first. I want to see a failing test. So why don't we make this nullable? We're not accumulating anything there. So let's make it optional. And now when you route a result, you capture that. Yes. Now we need to change the test A. Okay. I would like to use assert equal and compare it to an empty dictionary. Because mm -hmm. now we guarantee it's not nil. And if there is a value, it is empty. And I would expect this to fail. And what do we need here? Oh, it's up the bang. And we are crashing also. Yes. OK, that's a failing test for yep, me. Exactly. A crash. Let's make this pass. Let me just get the failure because Xcode just marked it as green. Okay. The simplest thing I can do to make this thing pass is in here. the start we have an else. Yes. And make my router route to the result. And you pass it an empty dictionary. Yes. So now I should be good. And I am. So next test. I would like to compare what I'm capturing. Well, why don't we have a test with one question, you answer the question, and you Get guarantee the that there. you got the question right. and the answer. Okay. With one question, routes to result. To result. To 
a result. So start on answering. I want a routed result to be equal. The dictionary with the question and answer as key value. What's the problem here? And I'm crashing. Because you're not calling that in the route next. Yes. So if I don't have a current index plus one. Well, if it's out of bounds. If it's out of bounds. It means you reach the limit. Yes. So then I need to do the same. Yes. And I need strong self here, right? Unfortunately, yes. We're going to have to refactor this later. This is a failing test here because I need to pass. Let's hard code for now. Just make it pass here, right? Yes. So now add a test with two questions. Start and answer first. And second. And second with two questions. Routes to result. result. So I need Q2. Yes. And if I read this A1, A2. Okay, and now we cannot cheat anymore. Yes. We cannot carry on hard coding stuff. That's the rule. You can do it once. The second test, you need to write production code. So we need to have some kind of dictionary that we can accumulate the state. Yeah. Okay. I can have a property. Let's say private var result. For now, this is going to be a string to string. This is empty. Yes. And it's private. Yes. So every time I'm answering a question. Yeah. So we are inside this block. Mm -hmm. We get the answer. And the answer right now is the underscore because yes. we didn't need it. Let's call it answer now. Yes. So we can capture the answer. And after we're routing, we can say strong self result question equals answer. Answer. But is this the right place to do it? I think it should be outside the if statement. Right there. That's the place you have the question and the answer. Okay. I can run the test and let's see if it passes. Well, I'm not using yeah. it here. Okay. And it passes now. So move that inside the if statement again. Let's see if it fails. And it does, because if you are in the last question, you're not going to yeah. store it. Yeah. That's why it needs to be outside. The test helps you find the an answer and guarantee that no one's going to break this. Good cuts there. And I think that's it. We can change this also, right? Result. Yes. Run the test. Also, I don't need this test now. Yes, because you're testing with two questions, yes. I think that's it. We are accumulating the result and we are passing it. We have the questions and the answers. Okay. Can we factor anything in the test? I don't like the force unwrapped there, but I think it's necessary because we are checking if Otherwise, it's not nil. Otherwise, it changes right? its behavior here. Yes. We are done with the flow. Okay. Let's commit and do some refactoring, please. Yeah. Do you want to drive? Yeah. Cool. Okay. We finished the flow, but. We still have time on our tomatoes, so why mm -hmm. don't we do some refactoring here? I really don't like this strong self, although it's necessary. I think we can probably move these to a function. So I think we can create another private function and we can call it, well, let's, I, I don't know how to call it yet. So let me keep this route next. And then you have a question and you have an answer. So I don't need strong self anymore in here. No, we're there. Yeah. Uh, it's everywhere. Look. If only there was a refactoring tool. Well, there is one. <laughs> Search and replace. Search and replace. So primitive. Well, <laughs> not gonna go there. Not yet. Not yet, yes. <laughs> so in here, 
Oh, you can just route next, right? Yes. Or since it's just one line, I would prefer to do an if let strong self strong self dot route next question and the answer answer. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. And the test still pass. Still passing. So we didn't break anything. What else can we do here? Maybe we don't need to capture. Next question here. Maybe we can have this in a variable as well instead of doing it twice. Yeah, let's so do that. Let's say next question index yeah. equals that. Replace this here and here. And actually, I would just do this in line. Okay. I want to separate these a little bit. Let me run the test again. Uh huh. Oh, that's why I think we had it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put this back. And we can put it here. And we're back. Okay. So it looks like we have duplicated code here. But actually, for different reasons, this happened. Right. And I don't like this being route next anymore. Maybe next callback. The point of use, I think it reads a little bit better. Maybe we can get rid of this since we always use route next with the question and answer. Okay, and Probably just pass the question, yeah. Use underscore here and say route next question answer. Okay. It's a private small scope. Yep. So I think it's fine. Okay. Normally what I do to see if I have all the behavior tested, I start commenting out lines. Exactly. So I can comment out this line of code. I can run it. And I get a failing test, correct? I'm covered there. And if I comment this line out, I have a failing test again. So that's tested. If I move this line outside the if else logic, mm -hmm. my test still passes. Yep. So we are not testing this. So there is some missing behavior. Yeah. When we were writing the test for this, we knew this would happen. So we just added the else without having a failing test before. Mm -hmm. And that happened. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this outside the if statement and I'm going to have a failing test. We have one test that says, well, if you have no questions, it should route to an empty result set. What if I have one question? Let's say if I have one question and I start, I want this to be new. I agree. Yeah. So I can even have this in one line. So when I start with one question, does not route to result. Now I want to see a failing test. There it is. Okay. Now let's make it pass. Everything is green and I can guarantee that this is tested. We can comment this out as well. And it is tested and we can do the same in here. That is tested. Also, comment this out. This is tested, but the same. If I put this outside the if statement, boom, the same. Same behavior. The problem is that if at some point we decide to do some refactoring, we might break this. And if we trust the tests 100% and they are bad tests, we're going to have bugs that might take a day to find out. It could be deployed and then people are playing the quiz game and they answer one question and boom, they go to the result page. We don't want that to happen. So we should probably add some safety here. So I'm going to duplicate this test because I want to see a failing test first. So start and answer first question with two questions. Does not route to result. result. Yep. So we have two questions. We answer only one. I want the same assertion. assertion. Yep. And let's see a failing test. Yes. Okay. Now we can put this back on. Okay. Now it's covered and I'm... Happy with it? Yeah, I think this is it.
Okay, everything's committed. There is only one more refactoring I want to do here. So what we can do is we can get rid of this if statement and say self question mark. So it only gonna delegate the message if there is something there, mm -hmm. right? And we don't need to call this answer, although it's nice. Yeah. But let's just show we can get rid of this and just use the dollar sign mm -hmm. zero, and we can have this in one line. This function is just creating a closure, so it's pretty simple. We self and pass the value we got in the callback block. Yeah, sounds good. Let me run the test. And it passes. Okay. Okay, I think this class is pretty small. I don't want it to do anything else. Right. That's all its responsibility. It's going to coordinate question to question and send the result. Yeah, there's no other functionality in there. All it does is just create the flow, literally. <laughs> okay, I think we are done. Are you happy? Well, I still think we need to somehow get rid of these strings and give it some more meaning. And I don't want to force my quiz to be only strings. Right. I think our idea is to have images, to have audio, yeah, to have other yeah. media formats. So we're going to have to make this more generic at some point. I'm happy with the result right now. I think we can commit this and carry on, or maybe we can make this more generic. I don't think it should be in the scope of this tomato right now. I absolutely agree that we should be using something more generic, like generics, for instance. <laughs> uh, but that's what we need right now. Okay. Can we take a last look on the test? Maybe we can refactor something there. I think the methods are very small. The names are very easy to yes. read and understand. And we start everywhere, so potentially we could extract that in a setup method. We could probably move the start invocation to the make SUT function, but I like how you can right? see yeah, in the exactly. test like the flow is only ready to be used when it's started. There's no way you can answer a question if you don't start it. Our interface is really nice because it just doesn't allow you to reply to a question if you don't start it. The only way to answer to a question is to fire the callback. We only give you a callback when you start the flow. Right. You can start it over again and if you have a router that is like a navigation controller router that can go back, we can handle that as well. We can go back and replace the question since we're using a dictionary to accumulate and send the result. So at the end, we don't have this limitation. Our flow is pretty flexible and we can have other kind of class that guarantees some policies so if you can go back or not, but it's not here. Yeah, it doesn't live in this module, most probably. And as you said, it's very flexible. I don't think we have any dependencies living inside this class. We can easily change things and the abstraction on the router, I really like. Anyone that is going to consume this API can implement it in any way they want. Yes. I like the functional approach there with a the recursion. In Swift, it turns out it plays pretty nicely also. Yes. And although this is a class, most things here are let's. Why we're not mutating a lot of state, we are only accumulating the result. Mm -hmm. Pretty happy with our tests. I'm feeling very confident. I can just refactor this as much as I want. I don't think that's the only implementation we can have, and we are free to yeah, change it I agree. without fear. Mm -hmm. So anything we do in the code right now that breaks this contract, that breaks these expectations, we're gonna have a failing test. You will be notified. We wanna be notified, yeah. and very quickly. <laughs> exactly. I can just run it again, and it passes. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Amazes me every time. Okay, I think that's it. That's it.